Sanjiro! 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 It doesn't work as well as Yojimbo! 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 Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound as. This actually sounds like Japanese. Yojimbo actually sounds like, you know, African, some kind of African language. Anyway, 50. Three, we're at number 53, Akira Kurosawa's Sanjiro. Hello everyone, Nate Jackson, Criterion Collector, Guide Person, Reviewer, and uh, we're hot, on, hot, on, hot off the trails of, hot off the heels of Yojimbo, the quote-unquote sequel, Sanjiro. Um, it's a little shorter, it's about 20 minutes shorter than the last one, it was made the following year, in 1962. And uh, this one is... In my opinion, a little more accessible than Yojimbo. I think, like, comparing... This one's probably not going to... I mean, can't say much about the plot. It's basically just about Sanjuro, like, you know, helping these... This team of, um... Kind of, like... Unexper unexperienced, um... Samurai of sorts. And, uh... Yeah, it's, that's basically the plot of it. And there's a lot of mystery and intrigue and actually a lot more humor than Yojimbo and a lot of that comes from their incompetence and of course Sanjiro's wily ways um, but yeah more or less I just I'm, I'm the whole time I was watching it um, I think I just I started like trying to piece together different you know, the similarities and differences I think one of the things that definitely that Sanjiro does is it doesn't, um, I think like with this one, like it doesn't try as hard to establish Sanjiro as a character because I feel like Kurosawa was, you know, you know, had the idea of Sanjiro from Yojimbo just more or less set and he, he figured that audiences would too. In the first scene, the the warriors are, are in their house, their hut talking, and then Sanjiro is just like sitting like in this back room. He just reveals himself by like yawning and coming out and just starting saying, "Well, no, no, no," and just starts totally, totally taking charge, you know. And it's sort of like you know, kind of like you know, that's kind of like how I guess how audiences be like, oh, you? he just makes a, a hilarious appearance, like, "Oh, who, who are you? How did you get in our house?" Well, we don't talk about that, you know. And um, it works. It totally works. Um, but yeah, no, I think like Kurosawa just had faith in this character to not have to develop him in any sort of way. You know, that was all in Yojimbo. Um, and so this one is just, let's just see what, what else we can do. It's sort of like that. Um, man, like I said, it's, it's, I think, a little more accessible. I mean, because it's shorter, but that doesn't really make a difference because I think it's more humorous. Um, the plot is a little more, a little less di I think a little less diluted than um, Yojimbo. Um, it does get a little weird toward the middle, but it picks up toward the end. And and for those of you who've seen it, the end shot is, I I I hesitate to say that it is one of the greatest things Kurosawa ever shot. Um, in fact, I mean I don't know. I mean compared to that in the final scene of High and Low, the two of the most exciting, the most, like, drama, dramatic shots Kurosawa ever shot. And, yeah, that, like I said, that's this is a short one. I can't say much about it apart from it was it was a trip. I mean, it's very humorous. Um, and watching the 35-minute um, the Wonderful to Create segment on... Sanjiro was really nice, and I'm so glad they kept it. I'm so glad they put it on um, on the this is the second version of the DVD um, printed in 2006. Um, I'm so glad they kept it because they talk about all kinds of stuff. They talk about um, the I forget the names of the flowers, but like they had to paint the flowers black because that looked like red. And they talked about the sound effects, and of course the final shot. Um, which basically I'll describe. It's 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 hard to describe. It's basically he um, Sanjiro and his rival, whose name I can't remember. Maybe it's in the booklet. 
I just now noticed that the booklet's in here. Han, Hanbi. Hanbi. Hanbi Mur, Muroto. It's like the final duel, and they're facing off, and I figured, you know, it's like usually, like, of course, like the last, like, four minutes, five minutes of the film. And they're just talking, and uh, Sanjuro doesn't want to fight him. He's like, like, no, no, just... And if we must fight, just leave them alone. Like, and they just look at each other. And they've both got... And the thing is, I guess, when... When the samurai, they, they keep their hands in their behind their backs, so they don't have them in their sleeves. So after they like you know after he tells them to leave the other guys alone, they slowly slowly put their hands through their sleeves, just very very slowly, and they look at each other for about like like. 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds of just looking at each other. <laughs> and then and Hanabi strikes, but Sanjiro strikes upward, <laughs> blood all out his chest. It's just like like a three second, like two seconds of blood just explodes out of his chest. I was just, oh, 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 oh Lord, that was amazing. But yeah, and yeah, then he just falls to the ground and dies. And he's upset, and Sanjiro's upset because he had to kill him. But in the end, he's just like, just move on, and he ends, of course, with his classic see you around. <laughs> Which I thought was the most of which I was like, yes. He ends with the exact same line. And as he's walking away, as he's walking away, he does that, that itching flea thing with his with his neck. And I'm just like, oh, man, that's awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, um, I was going to give this another B plus because of just how weird the plot got in the middle. But um, honestly, that the ending made totally made up for it. and blew my mind and just really gave me a little more faith in this one and this is one that's going in I give it an A minus actually. Yeah, like I said, it's still a minus for the plot, but in the end, um I think it it really kicked a little just a little more ass for me personally than um Yojimbo. So it's going in the wish list. So A minus and like I said supplements are just the thirty five minute documentary and uh, the trailer which has got the corniest music I've ever heard. It's like West. It actually sounds like Western music, like a Western soundtrack. A little teaser and stills and stuff. And so, yeah, get it. All right. So that's it for me. Um, number fifty-four for all mankind is coming in, coming as well as I guess I just got found out that unbearable lightness of being, thirty-nine steps in Shroud or tran are in transit. Now, as far as whether or not they're coming before the end of this weekend is concerned, because if they don't come on Saturday, then the only one I'll have to do this whole weekend is um, is uh, For All Mankind. And then that's the only one we're going to do. I'll probably do that probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, and, yeah, so this is probably it for me for a while. But, um, yeah, of course, I'll, of course you just keep, keep checking back. Uh, more than likely it will be on... Um, it shall be, yeah, more than likely I'll do For All Mankind, probably For All Mankind um, Saturday, because I'll definitely be getting it before Saturday, because um, it's a pretty short one. It's only like 80 minutes or so, and I don't know how much supplements are going to add up, but can't be too much. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you probably Saturday for um, For All Mankind. And until then, goodbye.